Hey everybody, Evan here with our latest Moodle moment. I want to talk to you about a brand new feature on our K-12 Moodle server. And it has to do with the tool called Atomic Learning. Uh, many of you are familiar with Atomic Learning. It's great self-paced tutorials on a variety of different topics. It's a resource provided by uh, Iowa AEA Online, in addition to one of their uh, to all their other resources. We have it integrated with our Moodle system now. So let's take a look at what that looks like. If I'm in my course and I click to turn on my editing, I can go in and I'm going to go and add an activity. And I'm going to click on external tool. I'm going to add an external tool. And I'm going to call this, uh, let's say I'm doing some things on PowerPoint. And I'll call that PowerPoint Tutorials. And I want to go in and I want to click on under Global Tool Types, Atomic Learning. And that's really all you need to do for the top. Um, if you want to go down under um, uh, Common Module Settings and set it to a group, you can do that. Um, you can also, under Privacy, uh, whether you want to accept grades from the tool or not. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about grading. The When participants watch the, um, the videos, the um, they can actually get points for them if not. If you just want to have it be a playlist of uh, tutorials to watch, you want to uncheck that. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this one. We'll show you what it looks like later if you keep it checked. And I'm going to click Save and Display. And it's going to take me back to the LTI, the, the new tool. And you can see this is actually Atomic Learning's interface, which has come up in here. So I want to look up PowerPoint. And it's going to have all the different tutorials for PowerPoint uh, listed there. Um, let's go ahead and use this one. And then I can come in and I can actually select the whole sections, or I can come in and select individual ones if I'd like. You can select as many as you'd like, and click here to preview the selections. And then once you're all done, you click Submit. And you now have a playlist. There it is, PowerPoint Tutorials. So when I go in as a student, and I click on PowerPoint Tutorials, my playlist comes up. You can click on here and then it'll go ahead and display the first video. The project gallery dialog box is displayed. Now if you haven't used Atomic Learning before, you know that it's again short little videos, usually about a minute long, maybe up to upwards of a two minutes on different topics. Um, you can play them and then you can also have the closed captioning on or off. If I turn it off, that'll take that off. That's something that the student can do on their own end. If I go, um, once I have gone back and gone through those tutorials, let's take a look at a different one here. It'll check that I have them all finished. And in this case, I created one that was graded. So if I go into, as a teacher, into that particular assignment, I could go back and edit that playlist and add different ones. But if I go under LTI Administration down to Submissions, it'll show me who has finished it and what they've got. If I also go into the grades, It'll list that person's score in that grade as well. Now keep in mind, this is only if I check that box for it to be a graded activity. Remember that PowerPoint one I created, I didn't check that box so it doesn't appear in my gradebook. And that's the Atomic Learning plugin. Again, it's a great tool to use. You can go in and click on it just by the, using the external tool and bring it in and select the different tutorials you'd like. It's a great way of adding rich content to your online course. This has been another Moodle moment.